For my star landlord. I'd like to bed down for the night. Do you have an extra room? Senor Renzi, the singing caballero. Well, howdy, miss. I don't know as I recall. Uh... Oh, but I remember you. I have heard you sing. I have seen you fight. I was at Miss Kitt when the Sandra's grand tried to make trouble for you. They are very bad hombres. <laughs> but you make them run like little rabbits. <laughs> and then you laugh like it was fun. <laughs> and sometimes, senor, when you are happy, I hear you sing, please, senor. If you will sing, I will dance only for you. See? Well, I don't know. I'm pretty tired. I've had a long trip. Oh, please, senor. Just one little song. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to take up singing lessons. <laughs> you? Never in a thousand years will you be like him. <laughs> Please, senor, just one little song. You know, El Vol Vaquero. Well, all right. Muchachos, El Vol Vaquero. The Vol Vaquero is up with the sun and into the saddle is he. With a swing and lope, he's over the slope and out on the broad prairie. The cow may twist and the cow may turn, but right in a track is he. He'll get the real as sure as you're born, for a bold bad roofer is he. So whoop, la, set him up, ah, shouts the rider free. Throw in your spurs and burn the earth for a cowboy's life for me. Whoop, la, ha, set him up, ah, shouts the rider free. Throw in your spurs and burn the earth for a cowboy's life for me. Yip, yip to the doggies, he gaily yells, as they curl the tails and pull. He skirts to the heads of hollows and draws, yip, yip to the lumber and bull. He drives them out on the open flat with the herds are gathering in. They curl the tails and sniff the breeze when they hear the roundup din. Yip, around the far on a winter's night, there's many a yarn they'll spin. And many a game at poker play at which they lose or win. And many a cowboy song they'll sing when the red eye flow with free. So throw in your spurs and burn the earth for a cowboy's life for me. So whoop la ha, set him up, ah, shouts the rider free. Throw in your spurs and burn the earth for a cowboy's life for me. Yep. Let's call this a misdeal. Why should we call it a misdeal? Or you should have dealt with this deck. It's a lie. All right, get up, both of you. Well, do we call it a misdeal? Call it whatever you want. A misdeal. Now make tracks and make them pronto. I think you'd better go on home, young fella. You're not smart enough to play poker with card sharks. You know, I like the way you sling those guns. And you're pretty good without them. Thanks. How would you like to make a few hundred quick and easy? Oh, no, no, thank you. People are kind of funny. They hang rustlers. Oh, it's nothing like that. All you have to do is take up a homestead. Me, a nester? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Well, it's not for long. Yeah, but my tools are a saddle and a rope. Not much of a hand with a plow. But this is a fair proposition. Well, it, uh, it cost anything to listen. Go ahead. Have a drink? Oh, thank you. What you have on your mind? A fair show for a lot of honest people who are trying to make homes for themselves. A few big ranchers are trying to drive everyone out and hog all the country for themselves. The homesteaders have got to fight or get out. They need help. Whereabouts did you want me to take up this homestead? Twin Buttes up north of here. When you get there, see Lem Watkins. 
Tell him that Bat Haynes sent you. He'll settle you on a homestead, and when the trouble is all over, he'll buy it back from you at a net profit. Well, uh, I might give it a whirl. Good. The most important thing is to fence up your homesteads right away. Now, I'll put up the money, but you'll have to sign notes for it so as to make everything legal. Your claims wouldn't be worth a dime if anyone could prove collusion. I thought trains were the only things what had collusions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about collision. Collusion means illegal cooperation. For instance, if I put up the money so you can file on a homestead, then turn it back over to me, that would be collusion. Al Peters wing one of Lawson's punchers and the sheriff arrested him. I'll see about that. Bart, you and Slim come with me. The rest of you boys wait here. All right, Tug. You sign this complaint charging Al Peters with the honorary and pernicious use of firearms. We should have hung that nester then and there. But I like to do things according to law. And I'm here to make sure of that. That wounded cowboy ignored a written warning against trespassing. I sent him there. That nester's been stealing my cattle. Can you prove that? I'm plumb satisfied in my own mind. That does not satisfy the law. Now look here. Don't you try to twist the law with any legal shenanigans. Them nesters have been coming in like a swarm of grasshoppers. They seem to think that they can live off my beef while they ruin my range. I won't put up with it. You cattlemen think you're the lords of creation. It's time someone took you down a peg. We're within our legal rights, and you'll put up with it and like it. Dad, don't act like that. That's right, Tug. You better go on home and let me handle this. You're a my two rambunctious for a sane discussion of the law. Well, you saw him hit me. Why don't you arrest him? Well, I never heard of arresting anyone just for hitting a man with his fist. I'm charging him with assault, and I and demand... Anytime you want Tug Lawson into court, he'll be around. I'm going over to the store. I'll see you in a few minutes. I've noticed how you always favor the cowmen. I favor no one. I only try to enforce the law. Well, don't forget, you'll be coming up for re-election pretty soon. Come on, boys. Betty, are you all right? It all happened so soon, I hardly knew what it was all about. I'm all right now. You all right? I won't try to thank you. I, I can't, but you'll always be a welcome visitor at the Lawson Ranch. Well, I'll sure bear that in mind. You ever hear anybody mention the name of Tex Ramsey? That's me. That was a mighty fine piece of work, mister. And I owe you a big debt of gratitude. Oh, it was nothing. I just happened to see him first. Any cowhand would have done the same thing. Well, I'll be seeing you. Thank you, stranger.
Well, are you satisfied with it, or was you aiming to make a trade? Satisfied with what? Your face. Oh, uh, I, I had an accident. What do you want? Uh, my name's Tex Ramsey. Matt Haynes told me to look you up. Oh, I'm glad to know you. I'll get you fixed up right away. Sit down. Thank you. Here we are. Now, uh, here's a nice choice location right here. Good water, level land, and... Yeah, but I don't, uh, I don't figure on spending my life on this... Uh... Oh, we understand all that, but we don't talk about it. Just a legal technicality. Well, I don't like the idea of doing something I can't talk about. <laughs> well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Just protecting honest men against those ornery cow -waddies. We're just being smart. Beating the other fellow to the punch. Well, I guess that's right. What's this over in here? That's Lawson's ranch. Oh. Hey, that is a right pretty spot. I'll take the one right next to it. Westward, traveling westward, over the prairie to a new home. Westward, Mister, back in six or seven, I sung in Grand Opera. You did? Yep. Had to give it up, though. Uh, too many women got to run after me. Oh. Uh, was you aiming to settle here? Well, that's a general idea. Well, then, we'll be neighbors. I got the next quarter section over yonder. Uh, folks call me Missouri. Well, I'm glad to be neighbors with you, Missouri. My name is Tex Ramsey. Right proud to know you. Well, hello. I'm glad to see you again. What are you doing here? What? Oh, oh, I... Well, I'm stretching barbed wire, building me up a fence. Are you a nester? Well... Yes. In a way. Do you want me to run him off, Miss Betty, before he takes root? No, no, leave him alone. You saved yourself a third-rate cowpuncher by saying no. I think I'd rather have been killed than owe my life to one of that low-down, thieving crowd that's overrunning our country. When I invited you to the ranch, I thought you fit to associate with decent people. I was mistaken. She kind of told it to you, didn't she, bud? Yep. She sure did. Remind me of the time in six or seven. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? To town. Something rotten about this setup. I think I'll go in and see if we can find out what it is. You can't find out nothing but riding into town and ratting and a snorting. Take it easy. Work from the inside. Say, maybe you're right. What? Now you boys go to the hotel and wait for further orders. Hello, Lem. Hello, Bat. How is everything? Everything is going just like we planned. Fine. 
I've got some more of the boys planted, and it won't be long before we'll control the entire water supply and force those cattlemen to sell out at our price. Good. Then we'll run things to suit ourselves. I sent some old boys over to the hotel. They're craving to take up homesteading. <laughs> All right. Let them wait there till we decide where to spot them. That's the idea. Say, what about this Tex Ramsey you sent me? He's a fighting fool. Handle him carefully. Make him think everything is only up and up. I did that. Oh, another thing. We've got to get rid of that sheriff. I figured to do that. Let me see. Hi, boss. Hurts is back in town. <laughs> Say, Slim would make a good sheriff. You better go get slicked up. Yes, sir. You know, with him, Sheriff, we can cut the cattlemen off of their summer range. You're right. Then they'll either sell at my price or see their cattle starve. The big cattlemen have had all the say-so around here long enough. A new day is dawning. A day for the average citizen, you and me. A day for these honest, hard-working men who want to take up land and make a home for themselves and their families. Now, I don't have to tell you men who to vote for. There's only one man, Slim Regan. Yeah! Hello, boys. How are you? Do you want me favor for sheriff? Why, we're plumb in favor of the sheriff we've got. Well, we ain't. I ain't got no time to argue politics. You're not voting today. Yeah? What's going to stop me? Because you ain't going to get there in time. Now get down off of them horses and shed your gun and pull off your boots. Take a look. Run them horses off. Come on. Wedged in here, tight on a drum. Only one man and a girl. Jeff, you come with me. The rest of you boys keep that other road covered. I get all het up when I think of Slim Regan having the gall to run for sheriff. That no account barfly. We're changing your mind about going to town. And just to make sure of that, pull off them boots. You hombres are sure piling up a lot of trouble for yourselves. Come on, get those boots off. If you want them, you'll have to take them.
Are you all right? <laughs> of course I'm all right. But where's that hombre that hit me? <laughs> Last I see of him, he's going to lick and spit around that bin. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, don't worry none about that. <laughs> Ain't you Tex Ramsey? You guessed it. Well, you local maverick, you're fighting for the wrong side. Uh, what's the difference? I'm enjoying it. Hey, hey, I've had enough. I've tamed this gentleman down considerable. Now, you can have him if you want him. I sure do, sir, and I thank you kindly. Now, you sit down and take off your boots. I think perhaps I was... I've uh... sort of lost interest in what you think. Well, of all the... I took a hand in this because I don't like to see a man act rough with any woman. That's all. That's very noble of you. Yeah. I think so myself. He seems right uppity. Yes, very. That mild exercise and diversion kind of made you feel a mite better, didn't it, son? Well, I don't know but what it did. It reminds me of the time back in 6 or 7, when I won the world's heavyweight championship. You, Missouri? Yeah, with one arm tied behind me. from voting today. around barefooted, you slipped through enough votes to turn the trick. Yeah. Now that we got the law hogtied, when do we open up and really go to work? Right away. They don't know it yet. But a lot of cattlemen are going to wake up with an awful headache. And I want Tug Lawson to have special attention. He'll get it. Give me that chair. Well, what happened to you? Ramsey, I thought he was all right. They got me when I wasn't looking. I sent the rest of the boys on while I stopped to take care of Tug Lawson. I didn't think it was anything to worry about when Ramsey rode up, and all of a sudden he tore into me. I saw Ramsey in town. I'll see if he's still here. Wait till I get a hold of that fellow, the double-crosser. Making me walk through them rocks. Just look at them stone bruises. Hi, Bat. Have a drink on the new sheriff. Don't bother me. Cowboy, I thought in time you'd get wise to yourself. 
Well, I'm sorry if I've been a disappointment. You horned in where you had no business today, and I don't stand for that. Now, you string along with me from now on, or drag yourself out of here. Mr. Haynes, you and certain other people in this town have now made it plumb impossible for me to leave. Well, it ain't impossible for you to end up in Boot Hill. Well, that's the way you feel about it. There's no time like the present. Sheriff ain't been sworn in yet. I reckon it's up to me to keep the peace. And I'll drop the first man that pulls a gun. You're not doing yourself any good. As an officer of the law, I never figured to do myself any good. I lost this election, but I ain't certain that I lost it on the level. The sheriff, judging by what's been elected, I'd say that you called the turn. A jackass don't need brains to make a noise with his mouth. Well, you ought to know. I made a mistake sending Ramsey here. Get some of the boys and get rid of him. All right, son. You just move along and that'll help me keep the peace. Look out. That's him. Packing a gun. Say, maybe he was after me. I had my back toward him. I'll get swore in the first thing in the morning and go out after him. You know, it might save a lot of trouble if you brought him in on a pack horse. Yeah, I reckon it would. Badly hurt. You've got to let me help you. What happened? Well, seems like I stepped in front of a 44 slug that was going someplace. Say, that's bad. Well, it ain't exactly good. Well, I mean about you being hurt and that two bit sheriff Slim Riggin on his way up here with the posse to arrest you for murder. For m murder? They started the rumpus. Well, that ain't the story Haynes tells. And another thing, they don't aim to take you back alive. Oh, well, then he can't stay here. Take him up to my place. They'd never think to look there for him. Could you try to ride a little farther? What have I got to lose? Well, if you can make it, you better get started. Wait a minute. Uh, put him on my horse and leave his in here.
Where's Ramsey? I don't know. I'm looking for him myself. His horse came in a while ago, but Ramsey wasn't with him. He must have fell off somewhere. Probably coyote bait by now. We'll look around. Come on. I'll have you comfortable in just a minute. here to lend a hand and we'll have you on your feet in no time. That's fine. I can't waste much time because I owe Bat Haynes a debt that I'm right anxious to pay off. Well, we've got those ranchers right where we want them. It'll be just like shooting fish. <laughs> <laughs> Private property. These nesters are going too far. My cattle are coming through and they've got to have water. Cut that wire. Hold on there. I'll plug the first hombre that cuts a wire. You heard me. Cut that wire. Lawson and his men are just then. They started the ball rolling. Come on. Hold that fire. Tug Lawson, I call on you in the name of the law to hold the peace. Come here. here as long as I am sheriff. This is my range land and nobody's going to cut me off. This is my water and you can't use it. What good is range land without water? That's for you to figure out. You ain't no dead farmer and this ain't farming land. Why did you homestead here? That's my business. It's his legal right to take up a homestead wherever he likes. You keep out of this. Wait a minute. Reagan should have better sense than to think Tug Lawson is a rustler. I hear you don't like the way things are run. That's right. Then why don't you move out? Because I like this country, in spite of some of the people that are in it. <laughs> Those farmers don't seem to work very hard. They work hard enough. Jeff, you come with me. I'll buy you boys a drink later. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Watkins, the boys are in town for a little fun. Shell out some money. Sure. You know, uh, Lawson's gonna be pig-headed about selling out. I was just thinking. It might make the other ranchers a little easier to reason with if the boys promoted a necktie party. That's not a bad idea. Lawson's quite the bell cow around here. Get the crowd well oiled before you start the ball rolling. 
That's what I call a pleasant job. Want your head shot off? Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Hide, quick. There's over a hundred of them. Who are they? I don't know. Who's you shooting at? Nobody. That's them. Nobody. And I darn near break my neck getting up here to help you shoot nobody. <laughs> oh, dad nab it. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I got you all up in the lather, old timer. But I thought I'd better make a few practice throws. I want to be right sure that I'm not slowed down any of this wound in my shoulder. Well, that's pretty good. Reminds me of the time in 6 or 7. They call me the William Tell of the West. Why, when I was a young fellow... Yeah, I remember, I remember, uh, Missouri. But how's everything in town? Uh, mighty bad. Yes, sir. The cattlemen had better pack their extra shirt and move out, or they won't even have that left. Two or three of the outfits is already sold out to Haynes. So, Bat Haynes is having things pretty much his own way. Huh? He sure is. Betty, I wonder if we could ride over to your ranch. I'd like to talk to your father. All right. You know, this reminds me of a time I put on a revolution over in China. Was that back in 67? Yeah. Hey, how'd you know? I was one of the China. My partner's always telling tales about his bravery. But here's a little thing or two that happened unto me. When Paul Revere, he took his ride, I was riding by his side back in 67. When Washington took Valley Forge, I was there to help old George back in 67. When Christopher Columbus took his ships and sailed the sea, now who's the man he took to have around for company? He couldn't find a braver man, and so he called on me back in 67. <laughs> when Custer's men fell one by one, I made all the Indians run, back in 67. In battle, I remember still how I won at Bunker Hill, back in 67. You'd be surprised to know the fact that from the very start, now I'm the guy at Waterloo defeated Boney Park. To tell the truth, now I was armed with just a little dart. <laughs> back in 67. Now Daniel was a weakling when I walked in the lion's den. Back in 67. I took a piece of chalk, you see, put the mark on Anthony. Back in 67. When Lincoln made his famous speech, now you can easily guess. Now I don't want to brag and boast, but yet I must confess. You're looking at the man who wrote the Gettysburg Address back in 67. <laughs> oh, I give up. <laughs> The sheriff came over to the ranch with a large posse and arrested your father, this time for stealing cattle. Cattle rustling is a pretty serious offense if they can make it stick. You know, I think it's about time that Bat Haynes and I had a showdown for good. With him out of the way, the rest of the gang will scatter like rats. Uh, Missouri and I will go in and see after your father. I'm going with you. Oh, I think the best place for you is at home. Take it to the ranch, will you, Red? Well, old timer, looks like we're gonna have a few fireworks. You may be reminded of 67 or something. I'm going back to the office. What's the matter? Lawson got the Indian sign on you? I thought this party was your affair. But I've got things to do. It's funny, whenever there's trouble brewing, you've always got things to do. Afraid of spoiling those lily white hands.
Why don't Slim Regan put a damper on that? Why should he? Well, whenever the whole town goes on a spree, generally winds up into trouble of some sort. If he had any brains, he'd know that. You're not the sheriff anymore. I'd advise you to mind your own business. Yes. Yes. Yes, we should have all the cattlemen we can in town today. I'm telling everyone to meet at the crossroads. Yes. Yes, it may be important to all of us, so bring everyone you can. Thanks. I knew we could count on you. Goodbye. Red, you meet them at the crossroads and lead them into town. All right, Miss Betty. Lock the front door when you leave the back one unlocked. Well, what do you want? First, I want what money you've got in that safe. It'll help pay the ranchers for some of the cattle they've lost. No, I can't do that. Uh, hey. And I don't like to argue. All right. Wait a minute. When you finish, I want you to sign a paper saying that all of these hired gunfighters are working for you and Bat Haynes and have no right to the homesteads they filed on. No, you can't let me do that. All right, that's the way you want it. Wait, wait, you, you wouldn't murder me. Why not? If they catch me, they figure to hang me on the count of Bart. Now, I wouldn't mind at all if they'd hang me a second time on the count of you. No, 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 wait, don't shoot. I'll sign it. I'll do anything. Hey, hey! What's the sense of keeping rustlers in jail and paying to feed them? Can't fatten them up for market. <laughs> Now open the safe. Missouri. <laughs> hey, Lim, ain't you coming along to see the fun? The boys are about ready to sash over to jail and have their swinging bee. <laughs> well, he isn't in there. Give me a light. Oh, he's in there, all right. If he's crawling his hole where he'll be safe till it's all over. Well, come on, let's get on back. We missed lots of drinks already. <laughs> All right. Who's been elected to Swain? I, I, I don't know anything about it. Don't lie. Tug Lawson. We've got to get to the jail right away, Missouri. That Slim Regan won't do a thing to protect him. But he's got a murder warrant out for you. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, but we'll think of something. Come on, let's tie this hombre up. You'll stay put. Well, what are we waiting? Well, let's go. I'm gonna hold on. Wait a minute. Don't go loco just because you've got a few shots of liquor under your belt. All right. Take a look, Missouri. Hold it clear. Shake a leg.
I understand you desire the company of this here individual. I sure do. Bring him in. Much blood. Put him right in here. What are you doing? We're taking over this here jail, and we'll be much obliged to you for the keys. You can't do that. I'll make you bet we can. And we don't have any time to fool with you. Where are the keys? In that drawer? Wait a minute. I'll get them. Wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait, wait, wait a minute! Sir. You're acting like a bunch of cattle, allowing yourself to be stampeded, and you don't know what you're being stampeded about. And it ain't good sense to stand in front of a stampeding herd. You're right. Now, if anybody else has any objections, spit them out. Come on, men, we got work to do. Come on! Cooking up a necktie party over at the saloon, and I don't think this is a good place for you to linger. Mighty friendly of you, son. It's all right. You take this gun and follow us. We'll do our best to get you through. Think we can make it, Missouri? get 10 feet after Lawson walked out that door. You two go alone. I'll take my chances. I'd sort of dislike myself if I did. You deputize us. We'll help you defend the jail. I ain't defending no jail. Yes, you are. That's your duty as sheriff. I ain't no real sheriff. Bad Haynes and Lem Watkins stole that election for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. But just the same, you're gonna act like a sheriff for a while. What's the matter with him? Stay here while I go and talk to him. Hold your horses! Say, what's the idea? Take his gun, Missouri. I'll lock him up. Come on. in there. Something wrong there. Come on. All right, Mr. Lawson, let's see if we can hold them off. You take the window, I'll take the door.
Come on, boys. It's Red and the cattle men. You're going back to the sheriff's office. You can't do this to me. No, no. Are you all right? I'm sure glad to see you, Sheriff. You know, Slim says that he never was entitled to be sheriff of this county. So I guess that puts it up to you. I caught this fellow trying to get away. Uh, that's ridiculous. That man is wanted for murder. I demand that you arrest him. Oh, no. He killed Bart in self-defense. You're off to try to drag us him and he fought his way out. There's a little paper, Sheriff, that I think you'll find right interesting. Now, he forced me to sign that. That paper proves that Bad Haynes, Watkins, and their whole gang are crooked. These land grants they've been flashing about are worthless. Why, this is just the evidence we've been looking for. In Missouri. Now, this is all the money that Watkins had in his safe. Maybe it'll help repay some of the cattlemen for their losses. Dad, are you all right? Yes, honey. Lawson, I'm mighty glad things turned out the way they did. And so am I. But you can thank these two fellas for it all. What are you going to do now that the war is over? Well, I, I started out to be a nester, so I'll be a nester. If the cattle business should ever appeal to you, we're badly in need of a foreman. Son, you may as well give in and save the struggle. Well, I guess you're right, Missouri. Ma'am, you've hired yourself a new foreman. I've been all my life in the saddle. All I know is the punch and no cow. Well, I never could work on a sheep range. 